Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we have Sideshow Collectibles Wolverine. Packaging of this figure just came with uh, artwork on the outside of it. And then when you slipped it open, that was covering the figure. A Wolverine claw insert. And then Sideshow doesn't really do cradles, I've noticed. It's more so just like the accessories are just kind of in the bottom and this holder. And then they use some foam. Foam. Um, uh, based off the uh, original comic book costume, the yellow and the brown. Uh, just iconic costume. Really good looking. And um, its claws are actual metal, so be careful when you're exchanging the hands on that. Um, and also just take your time. <laughs> Uh, when you're changing the hands in and out, make sure that you hold like that or apply pressure on like the fingers because these will, they will come off. They'll snap off. And you don't want that to happen. Uh, a couple different things that they did differently with this figure that I liked was so you, the hands on, or the arms that I have on right now um, are fully removable. I can take them apart right here just like that and I can move them I can take off the glove the gauntlet all that stuff or you can change them for ones that are already molded to fit so you can have like a, a stuck pose um, and uh, I wasn't sure really how I felt about that at first but it, it worked out really it works out really well and it all fits together really well um, you gotta kind of wiggle them around a little bit, but once they kind of snap in, they just go in and bam, you got Wolverine, you got Captain Nub over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, I guess the reason for that is there's no seams, Yep. so like, you can get this flexing pose, and then it's got the muscle bulging, and you don't get the seam in the, the arm here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you, you can see there's, you know, the cut on the inside of the arm here, but once you put the gauntlet on, it covers it. Yeah. So, the, so the whole everything's covered, covered up. You don't see that. And it just... It's very true to the comic how they made it. You know, the over-the-top exaggerated muscles. Um, I like how they even gave them the, the huge mutton chops and the hair coming up. It's mm -hmm. just straight out of the comics. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. It's like a mix of, like, uh, comic drawing but realistic at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have, like, a cartoony look. Yeah. But it also isn't just... A Hugh Jackman ripoff. Yeah. So it's, it's just classic Wolverine, which I'm happy. Angry for. Logan. Angry Logan. Uh, another accessory that he came with. He came with a separate head sculpt of the classic mask. The big old what does he even call it? Spikes? Horns? I don't even know. Fins? Fins? Ear, ear fins? Head fins? There you have it. <laughs> there you have it. Um. And then he also came with one that kind of looks like it's folded down, and it just has a magnet on the bottom, and you can just go like that, and it's attached. Looks like he just kind of takes it down. Um, <clears throat> his costume doesn't really restrict a whole lot of, like, posability. Yeah, it's like a soft cloth with, like, yeah. some faux leather or something up here. So, I mean, if you wanted to kind of have, like, a typical Wolverine crouch down, angry, I mean, he has no problem getting into... You know, a low pose, and something that um, is different about this figure was when we were changing out the head sculpts. We noticed it's not like a typical it's just a, a Gumby peg. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got a he's got a stump, and uh, it just slides in and it attaches. And because Wolverine is so short and bulky, they actually kind of like raised this up a little bit, so you His still and neck still can have him looking up and down and it doesn't restrict him at all which is a nice feature yeah it's interesting i thought for sure the articulation would be weird with that peg but it works fine yeah and you just got classic wolverine speaking of articulation his legs are a little wobbly was he like that when you got him is this something to look out for or um, do you think it just got no, loose from using him <clears throat> posing him and whatever it might have been from posing him honestly because i spent a lot of time trying wall. to trying to he's just he's a happy he's a guy loose. he's a loose canadian um 
it was probably from me posing him. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out exactly, you know, a iconic Wolverine pose, and I think I ended up having him kind of lunging forward with like one claw out in his open hand. And I always got that iconic loose Wolverine stance. <laughs> iconic loose. He's not going anywhere. He's thinking. He's got the usual crotch peg. He's good. Stands like this. Uh, his base just has like a like a cement brick looking finish, and then some Wolverine claw marks. I don't know why he's clawing up the floor, but there it is. He's he's an angry. He's guy. an angry man. An angry Canuck. He's a short angry man. <laughs> Speaking of short, let's do measurement. He's probably got Napoleon complex. We'll hold it the right way this time. Yeah. It's on his foot. There you go. Hey. True to Wolverine, he's actually kind of short. Uh, his head's actually like 11 and a quarter inches, and his fins are about 11 and three quarters. He's a short little man. He is. It's an angry ball of rage. <laughs> all in all, I was really happy with this figure. Um, what was the price on this guy? Two thirty-four. Two thirty-four for a sideshow collector. I think, I think it was two thirty-four. Uh, yeah, sideshow is getting up there in price. Uh, they're sometimes a little more expensive than hot toys. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's just like a limited stock or yeah. what is going on with that. We'll see. We'll you know, see I mean, what's going on there. they've improved over the years for sure. Um, if you go back and look at some of the older stuff that they did, their clothing was really bulky. The paint application wasn't there. Um, I would say right now they're right, right below Hot Toys. The Dengar was two sixty. I mean, quality wise. Quality wise, product wise. I hope so. For the price you're paying, <laughs> hopefully they're not all loosey goosey. Hey, um, nobody makes fun of Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> also wanted to give a shout out to. Dave at Hot Comics. Oh yeah, he he really wanted to see this figure reviewed, and he also is the reason we have it. Yep, showing it off, made it a purchase. Yeah, I uh, I wasn't convinced. I, I wasn't convinced on this figure until Dave actually let me take it out of the box, and I was kind of messing around with it, and um, then I saw you know the the posability of it. I liked all the accessories, the arms, all that stuff. I mean, who just who doesn't like an angry angry Wolverine? And when we got him posed and all that stuff, and we had him looking like the, you know, angry, pissed off Logan that everybody knows from the comics. Like, yep, well, <clears throat> here's my money. So, thank you, Dave. Here's my money. And it's just, it's a, a cool figure. It's a mix of comic and real. It, they pulled it off. It's sweet. They should do more in this line. I agree. I would love more to see... X-Men. More X-Men! I would love to see a Sabretooth. Sabretooth would be sweet. Magneto, Cyclops... Ooh. Yeah, like classic Jim Lee yeah. Magneto. Like classic The red style. and the purple. The big cool. dumb helmet. Maybe and his gray mullet. Tell Cyclops. <laughs> I made him a convertible. Yeah. This one's for you, Morph! <laughs> Anybody who watched the Fox Kids show knows those. Anything else to say about this guy? Uh, do we want to compare him to another figure? Just, I don't know if we want to like show height difference. <laughs> Adam West is probably... <laughs> Adam West. <laughs> there you go, kids. The, the two most... Two most Crime iconic fighting chum. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Look at Adam. Batman West. and Wolverine, the nicest man around, and the angry Canadian. It's like some days you just can't get rid of a wild animal. He's <laughs> a Wolverine. I don't. know, For some reason, that was like a that was like a hybrid of Elvis he's, Presley and Adam West. He's, he's a Wolverine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's a little loosey goosey. I'll give it to you. Yeah, look at this, Adam West. Daddy's a rock. Yeah, well, that's because he's got stinking friggin' Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Uh, all in all, though, um, Sideshow Collectibles, they're getting better with every single product that they're putting out. Great figure, though. I really like how it looks. I like the costuming. I like the tailoring. The, the, the Like you were saying, the art direction on it was really cool because it's iconic comic book Wolverine in with a, real a realistic style. twist. Yeah, with a real style to it. So give me a Cyclops with his big, stupid, yellow pirate boots. And his blue onesie, and give me a Professor X and his oh, yeah. gold chair. Give them all to me. Just do them all. Yeah. Wild. A Mr. Sinister. Mm -hmm. Sideshow, if you're paying attention. <laughs> We're printing money for you guys. Yeah. You need to just ship them to us. You don't have to do anything else. Just let us play with them. Uh, 
Cool figures though. Yeah. And uh, check them out. There's gonna be more coming, I'm sure. They got Thor and Daredevil. Yep, Thor Those and Daredevil are, are out right now, and they are. And they also did a Punisher that was based off this series. Right. They had like the Punisher. traditional white boots and the slick back hair and like the red bandana, I think. Mm. But. Uh, yeah, the Thor figure is really awesome looking. Really cool. Maybe we'll take a look at those down the road. Maybe. Thanks for watching. Fastball special!